In the introduction of the play A Doll's House, Nora Halmer, a young, happy wife and mother of three, enters her home, followed by a porter toting a Christmas tree. Her husband, Torvald, calls out to her from his office. He believes his wife is wasteful with money and teases Nora for spending too much. In the rising action, Nora shows Torvald her presents and requests money for her own Christmas present. Torvald gives it, but has no idea Nora needs money for a loan she borrowed without his consent that she's been working in secret to pay back her lender. Christine, a childhood friend of Nora's, drops by, and the two women discuss how their lives have changed mm. since they last saw each other. Nora brags about Torvald's new position at the bank and offers to convince him to hire Christine. Nora then describes how she saved Torvald's life early in their marriage by providing the money they needed to spend a year in Italy. But the loan's lender, Krogstad, soon arrives to meet with Torvald. Dr. Rank, a close friend of Torvald and Nora, comes in and gossips about Krogstad's bad reputation for being caught up in a scandal years ago. Torvald meets Christine and says he's willing to give her a position at the bank where he's a manager. Krogstad slips back into the house. He thinks Torvald will replace him at the bank where he works with Christine, whom he has known from the past. Krogstad blackmails Nora, wanting her to influence Torvald to let him keep his job. When Nora refuses, Krogstad reminds her that she has committed fraud by forging her father's signature for the loan. Nora tries to persuade Torvald not to fire Krogstad, but Torvald fires Krogstad immediately instead of waiting until the new year. Nora considers asking Dr. Rank for help, but changes her mind when the doctor confesses his love for her. Krogstad decides to expose Nora and drops a letter about the loan and forgery into a locked letterbox outside of Torvald's office. Nora tells Christine that Krogstad is her moneylender. Christine rushes out to convince Krogstad to recall the letter and expresses a desire huh? to begin a new relationship with him, even though she chose another man when they were younger. Krogstad offers to recall his letters to Torvald, but Christine tells him not to, believing honesty will bring understanding into Nora and Torvald's marriage. In the play's climax, Torvald reads Krogstad's letter, revealing the loan and forgery. In the falling action, Torvald calls Nora immoral, showing his self-centeredness, and chastises her viciously. But a new letter from Krogstad arrives, saying he's forgiven the loan. Ecstatic that his reputation will not be damaged, Torvald instantly forgives Nora. Nora finally sees that her husband does not truly love or understand her. She will always be nothing more than his doll. She decides to leave her family, educate herself, and make her own way in the world. In the resolution, Torvald sinks into a chair in despair, his face buried in his hands. The play famously closes with the slamming of a door. <laughs>